Hey there, Twisted Sage here, coming to you on this new moon evening, catching some coffee, stealing some internet. Um, so this new moon um, here in Arizona is going to be at uh, somewhere around 9.50 p.m., which is just before exactness of the conjunction between the sun and the moon. Um, this is the new moon of planting seeds of transformation. Remember, always the new moon is the time to plant seeds of intention. So this will, will manifest potentially within two weeks' time, but then you're also looking at the long haul for what you're trying to manifest six months down the road or perhaps even further. Um, yeah, so when it comes to manifesting or planting that seed of intention, um, perhaps, I mean, obviously you want to put your mind in a specific spot, but it helps to... Uh, put some physicalness to that ritual. Um, I'll give an example. So the new moon in um, Virgo. So was it? Two, moon, two new moons ago. Um, and a lot of times I do this more so at the, I want to say the, uh, the solstices or the equinoxes. As I go and I get naked and I jump in a lake. Um, I think this time was the first time I actually did it on a new moon. And I manifested uh, kind of what I've been looking for in, in relationship. But uh, it did only last two weeks. And pretty much when the full moon hit in Aries, uh, it, it dissipated. But... That was probably one of the, the most powerful ritual um, I have example of that I've manifested in, in my world. Most of the time when the new moon comes around, like I, I don't know, I, I guess I have nothing in mind to specifically manifest. Um, but... So whatever your ritual may be, I mean, so say you're doing yoga, meditating, um, an astrologer that I follow quite a bit, uh, the peace dealer, he always has you write down what you want to manifest. And then at the end of his broadcast, you burn the paper. Um, you know, you can do things like light candles whatever might be personal to you. Um, what else? You know, I was going to touch on uh, my whole losing my wallet thing. And I'm not sure what the... I know Mercury Retrograde had something to do with it because about... Uh, I want to say while Mercury was still in Retrograde, I left my wallet on top of a gas station pump. Quickly realized that I did turn around, and right as I got back to the pump, someone had turned it into the clerk, anyways. Um, but I feel like I don't remember the specific date, but I feel like uh, when I just recently truly lost it instead of just misplaced it, um, that Mercury had crossed back over whatever specific degree and point that it was at at the time that I left the wallet on top of the gas pump just to bring the timing into reality. Um, another thing in note, so let's see, where's... All right, so we're coming up on that Mercury-Uranus opposition. Um, when that was exact few weeks back I know of somebody who happened to be an Aquarius um, 
got accused by his wife of sleeping with somebody else or sleeping with multiple women and you know instead of he he went to physical action and got arrested picked up charges well under the dark moon last night and I mean we're close enough to call you know it's still in progress Mercury moving closer to that opposition on Uranus um so I think for him, he ended up repeating the same actions again. Um, except this time they took him to the nut house. <laughs> um, but yeah, this, uh, this new moon, it, this is, it's, it, you know, set some magical intentions. Um, perhaps to do with career because it's in perfect sextile to Jupiter. And Jupiter's in the sign of Capricorn dealing with career and achievement. Um, all right, happy manifesting. I think I'm going to leave it at that.